Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Shira Witterson. I am the founder of RSLT. RSLT is an SAS platform that measures the effectiveness of TV and digital advertisement. Today I'm going to talk with you about what is ad attribution and how the recent news from Apple and Google are impacting it. Let's get started. If you are looking to expand and scale, you should consider to invest in marketing. There are a multitude of options to invest your budget, such as TV, radio, social media, but also on which day you should invest and what would be the best time of day for each one of these marketing channels. The question is, which specific TV and digital advertising grow your desired outcome? A common approach to measuring advertising effectiveness is called attribution. The purpose of marketing attribution is to quantify the influence of each advertising impression without any external noise. As you start to invest and scale, you will soon understand that your customer passes through a journey. There are a multitude of journeys your customers are experiencing. They can watch TV and see your commercial and then browse on Facebook and then only buy. Or they can listen to a radio ad, see a commercial on TV again, and then buy your product. There are different approaches to credit conversions to their respective advertisement. A common approach is called last click. In our example, paid search gets all the credit. With the first click approach, the first touch point gets all the credit. Multi-touch attribution, also called MTA, is commonly referred to as the holy grail in advertising measurements. In MTA, there are two main approaches for attribution. The first one, the rule-based approach, divides the credit for the purchase across various touch points. The credit is assigned with predetermined weights, such as giving the same weight to each touch point. This approach is somehow easier to implement, but can lack accuracy. The second approach to MTA is algorithmic, which leverages machine learning in order to attribute and not force a credit on all touch points, only to the channel that truly deserves that credit. This approach is more accurate than the rule-based approach, but also more sophisticated and requires statistical knowledge to implement it. So by now, you're probably wondering how the data is collected in order to attribute in the first place. Here also, there are two different ways. The first way is deterministic matching, which leverages online trackers. In simple word, data is collected through uninformed consent until recently was highly accurate. I will get into that a bit more uh, soon. The second approach is again through machine learning. While the accuracy level can be very high, it demands deep statistical knowledge and a highly experienced professional in order to achieve it. So what you need to know is that most attribution providers approach to matching is deterministic. So what are online trackers anyway? Online trackers are unique device identifier that can be linked to your personal information. Personal information can be email, address, name, etc. Those device identifiers have many names, such as third-party cookies, IDFA, GATE, etc. So what do they do? In fact, they collect data through uninformed consent. So what do the Google and Apple updates have to do with it? We now have new privacy rules that have been implemented, and let's walk through them. By 2022, Google will block third-party cookies, meaning if you're leveraging an analytics platform that utilizes this type of trackers, they will be blocked from collecting user data. Apple also implemented drastic changes. They're limiting IDFAs, short for identifiers for advertising by clearly asking the user's consent to be tracked. So what impact will these changes have on attribution accuracy? In fact, it's all about opt-out. We, we believe that the number of opt-out will increase drastically. 
advertiser will be unable to track an estimated 80% of online ads. And user level opt-in will decrease to around 15%, meaning all the identifiers that are used for attribution purpose would become unreliable. A common question that result is asked is, if I buy ads on TV, do the Google and Apple privacy changes impact me? Yes, smart TV and OTT, such as Hulu and Roku, might endure the next wave of compliance. And the reason is that OTT and connected TV leverage online trackers. The most drastic impact will be on deterministic matching. It's increasingly more complex to manage this type of identifier. As I just explained, the number of opt-out will increase drastically. So privacy reform will make it no longer accurate. So what you can do to make sure your measurement efforts will not be impacted? The best way to do it is by assessing if your attribution platform is impacted by increasing opt-out rates. There are three ways to do it. First way is to determine if your attribution vendor is leveraging this type of tracker. The privacy notice of your attribution vendor is usually the best window to check it. If the notice states the usage of, for example, IDFA, unique identifier, device identifier, you will know. The second thing that you can do is ask your attribution vendor if they partner with TV manufacturer in order to get the data. There are many TV manufacturers that allow TV attribution provider to collect this type of data. Visio TVs have tracking features that can be turned off in the same fashion as IDFAs. The last thing you can do is demand opt-out tracking trends from your attribution provider. If the trend is constantly increasing, you will know the level of stability of your data. So what Resort is doing, a bit about us. Resort leverage between accuracy and privacy. All what we do is machine learning and data science based in order to provide our clients the highest accuracy possible while mitigating privacy risk. We can help you increase engagement and revenue without privacy risks. Our, we have a privacy first data collection approach. Our algorithms and data collection methodology ensure that we do not collect or store PII and that Google and Apple updates do not impact our attribution insights. We also offer granular performance insights. We measure ad performance and impact across all your TV and digital campaigns at the most granular level, such as channel, part of day, day of week, creative, etc. We can determine which marketing tactics are impacting website visits, sales, or, conver or conversions. With our predictive ad spend optimization, we can provide insights that direct future ad campaign investments to increase engagement and conversion. Result will identify ad fatigue in advance of audiences becoming disengaged with your TV and digital ads. And finally, we are independently owned. Our only goal is to help you accurately measure and optimize your ad campaigns. If you want to contact us to get your free brief, please email us at contact at result.io. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I'm looking forward to answering all your questions. Thank you very much for listening.